NPR 111. To you, my children, I give this, the treasure of the past, the accumulated wisdom of man. There has been a careful selection of words and gathering of sayings, a winnowing of works of wisdom and a careful choice made from the hidden writings, all recorded with much searching of the heart, while seeking the great God's inspiration. There is nothing added to that which was no unknown utterance or unfamiliar saying, nothing which has not been on the tongue and in the hearts of our forefathers. What was recorded in their days has been rewritten, for truth and wisdom are a mooring line from the first man to the last, from generation to generation until the end. Would that I could grasp something from the unknown to hand on to you, but I am only the guiding channel leading the refreshing waters of wisdom from the great reservoir of truth towards the parched lands of the uninstructed. This is an important verse. It admits the person chose what to include based on their personal moral code that is also based upon the times they live in and what he considers important based upon what he sees as def deficiencies in society. Hence, it must not be assumed it will contain all wisdom. Some wisdom he discarded because it didn't fit. Other wisdom he believes is wisdom might not actually be wisdom, but based upon the times they live in. We all suffer bias. Take what you can find value in and incorporate it into your belief system. Make it your own and live it. If it speaks to you, then that should not be a difficult task. Likely you're already living the words you find a value your personal moral code. The words speak to you because you believe them. If you are confused and others insist you must follow blindly all that's in the chapter or the book, that you must have faith. And by pointing out the verses that you can argue with, then you should not follow these people. They are dangerous. They advise you to abandon what you know God gave you. That is arrogance, a blind belief that a book or an individual can know God's path for you better than yourself. They lack the wisdom and conviction to lead. They are followers and will not lead by action, but demand others follow out of devotion, not out of free will through example.